Yes, it is like Akobe Kings for the very first time this particular season. You've got Shah Rukh Khan leading this particular side. You've got Sai Sudarshan, who's been impressive in the IPL. The Nickel Dragons did win the toss. And they decided that they are going to field first up. Such has been the trend so far in this edition of Tamil Nadu Premier League. The Dream 11 team there, Shah Rukh Khan, a very different role to what he normally fulfills. As far as uh, Dindical Dragons Dream 11 starting 11 is concerned, Hari Nishan got off to a very, very good start last time around, but things fell apart after that. But there's plenty of experience in that side. First celebrity. It's a good swing, Ellis. Should look for two. And makes it, would you say, comfortably in the end because he was running at an angle. Doesn't matter at all. If you're going to hit such shots, it doesn't matter at all where your fielders are placed. Over the field. A three down four after a while. String just a bit down to that leg side. That is the boundary eventually. Nicely played away. Late cut from Suresh Kumar. That set the impetus for the final over. Starts off with a boundary. <laughs> By making me control my emotions. Adding insult to injury. Three balls to go. In the air. Is that the first six? Yes, it is. Boom, boom, boom. Super six from Ganga Sridhar Raju. Just waited to settle down and playing beautiful shots like this. 4-1, four, 4-6-4. Four, four. This over is turning out to be expensive. 19 of it already. Beautiful shot. Picks the gap beautifully. Beautifully played. He used the angle so well. Moving inside the line. Making sure he got it fine. To beat that short fine leg fielder. The Dindical Dragons are missing him badly. Shots like these aren't going to help. The third man needs to go back, otherwise Suresh Kumar is just going to toy with the field. For the opening partnership, they're looking good again. He's just having fun now with that ball, isn't he? He goes over mid-off. Does he find the fielder? This time he latches onto it. Moni Satish, the fielder who dropped him initially, manages to catch one this time. Big breakthrough for the Dindical Dragons. They needed it badly. Yeah, Suresh Kumar goes for 37, 67 for one, the Laika Kova Kings. Good placement, nice sound of the ball hitting the willow. Catch! Another one bites the dust. Big relief for the bowler. After conceding a boundary of a slow delivery, he gets rid of a well-set batsman, Ganga Sridhar Raju. A well-played innings come to an end. Ganga out for 33, 78 for 2. Go by Laika Kings. Yeah, cinema company. <laughs> Finding the fielder in the deep of a juicy full toss. But the problem was he was hitting it against the wind. Disappointing end to Sai Sudarshan. It's 80 for 3. Shot. Finds the gap. And he carries it all the way. Boom, boom, boom. Super 6. What a shot! Beautiful, that's a boom, boom, boomer, super sick. And that, with that sick, 100 comes up for Kobe Kings. 
but this time on the off he's found space he's found the boundary again beautifully hit with the breeze over the top and a boom 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 as super sixer runs are flowing that's delicate it's not all about muscle it's about the mind it's about just those delicate touches more runs more runs that could well be another boundary yes it is runs runs smart cricket Well, that's a difficult shot to play, I thought. Beautifully executed by Shijit. Yeah, that's almost a glimpse of what they can do. That's for you, Shabani, yet again. Smashed again. Comfortably clears the boundary. Shuffled a bit and placed it to perfection. He knew there was not a deep, deep square leg. He knew the fine leg was inside, went with the wind, got the maximum. There's a field change. He hits it straight, clears it comfortably again. Two in two for Mukilesh. Puts him in contention to be the Sharon Fly, strong performer of the match for sure. Got straight up. The fielding hasn't been great. It hasn't been great this time around as well. Nicely hit. Has he found the fielder though? Yes, he has. A good catch from Vishal Vaidya. They managed to finally hold on to one. Shijit Chandran goes for 30. Shijit out for 30. 158 for 4. Hits it. Hits it well. Does he start off with a boundary? Yes, he does. A swat. He hits it high and it's taken comfortably. Mukilesh goes for 49. The gamble of bowling spin works for Hari Nushant and the Dindical Dragons. A good catch in the deep by El Vignesh. 162 for 5. Another dot ball. Oh, he's given it a wide. There's a big appeal as well. She's gone to the third umpire. Batter is still outside. Batter is still outside. Yeah. And frame by frame. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It may be a wide, but it's still out stumped. This over could be the turning moment in this game. He smashed it. Don't bother catching that. He's hit it out of the ground comfortably as Shah Rukh Khan. And he can't bowl there. I was just talking about just three fielders. He's hit it straight. And they've caught it. That field has worked. Vishal Vaidya, the fielder there. Shah Rukh Khan manages to find him. And Sudish ends his spell with a wicket. He hits it high in the air. Another wicket, possibly. And Vishal Vaidya again. That's his third catch of the game. The move of bringing on Vivek works. He picked up his third. He hits it well. He hits it into the gap. Final ball of the innings. Beaten. Dot ball. A good finish in the end from Vivek. Ends his spell with 3 for 35. But the Laika Kovai Kings have posted a really good total. 188 for 8 in that 20 overs. Good contributions from Mukilesh, Ganga, Suresh and Shah Rukh Khan.